Hey guys, happy holiday weekend. Um, I do have a short case today. It's ongoing, so I don't have much details, but I tried to get as much as I could from the sources I, um, that seemed credible. Um, also, before I get started, can I just say I really hope Amber Heard does not win this case against Johnny Depp. Um, her lies. I can't I don't know how she keeps up with them because literally watching her on the stand I'm like they're literally putting the evidence in your face and you're like no that no that's incorrect no um I was there but I do not recall girl all I know is this case is coming to an end or their trial um, I know they did their closing statements today and then now the jury gets to you know go in decide what happens with the case so I really hope that Amber Heard does not win and I hope Johnny Depp gets his justice but I mean he got his justice in the public eye but we'll see Today I'm going to be talking about the case of Lily Peters. Um, my sources include Daily Mail, New York Times, Fox News, and WEAU News, which is the news from their, their city. Um, I'm just going to keep referring to her as Lily because I do not want to call her the incorrect name. So Lily Peters is a 10 year old little girl from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. She was reported missing on April 24th, 2022 at 9 p.m. Her father was actually the one who reported her missing because um, she did not return from her aunt's house who lived a half a mile away. So when she didn't come home, he went ahead and reported her missing. Um, and after reporting her missing, he waited about two hours and then went to go search for her. This led to discovering her bike was abandoned on a nearby trail by her uh, um by her aunt's house but when they did an overall search with the police and the police dogs they came up empty-handed they didn't find anything else besides her bike because they didn't find anything in the search um that night they just waited until the next morning and the next morning april 25th 2022 just before 9 a.m lily's peter body lily peter's body had been found near her aunt's home um and this was just 12 hours barely 12 hours after her father had reported her missing when they found her body investigators said lily had blunt force trauma and some missing clothes as well and when the preliminary, preliminary autopsy was given to investigators at the Chippewa County Sheriff's Office, um, they also confirmed blunt force trauma, but also said that there were signs of um, SA. So the timeline went really fast for from when she went missing to when they found her. She was missing Sunday night, 9 p.m., found her Monday morning, 9 a.m., and then literally Tuesday, um, April 26th, Reddit users, or a Reddit user, had called in a, um, a tip because of um, them being a part of a, like, a true crime, like, reddit thing on there so um with that the the person who reported or the tip that was reported was because somebody on reddit um said that they saw a little girl while they were playing pokemon uh, go pretty much that um that user was saying that they saw Lily, or a, a, supposedly this um, user saw Lily with another kid on that hiking trail that her bike was found. Um, and after that post, he didn't post anything else. He wasn't replying. 
nothing else. So the person who reported to um, or gave the tip to officers in Japua Falls was Angela Osment. Um, she was also a Reddit user, but she was in a whole other state. And she ended up calling it in because uh, she said that she felt that because this person is no longer responding, they it should have been called in because of they could have been the last person to see Lily alive, pretty much. The officers had thanked that person who are Angela who gave them the tip and also the screenshot of the Reddit users post and pretty much went on with their day. Um, now nobody knows or it hasn't been confirmed if the arrest that they made later that day was because of this tip that they had gotten or what it hasn't been confirmed or anything so police officers had arrested 14 year old Carson Peters Berger now at the beginning due to his age his name wasn't being released he was going by his initial CPB and um I mean, he's 14, so, you know, they're trying to keep his name really out of the papers and everything like that. But by Wednesday, April 27th, 2022, Carson Peters Berger is identified as 10-year-old Lily's cousin, which, when I heard that, I think that's what made me want to do this case so bad because, like... It was already crazy from the beginning that it was a teenager who is the main, you know, primary suspect of Lily's um, murder and assault. But for it to be a 14 year old member, a 14 year old that is your family member was just crazy to me. But yeah, so Carson Peters Berger was a or is a child from a brief relationship between Adam Berger and Lori Davis who Lori Davis is Alex Peters um, sister and Alex Peters is Lily Peters dad um, and like if you didn't think 14 year old was crazy enough that has like committed this Peters Berger's had told prosecutors that he planned to do that from the beginning he planned on taking his cousin out there you know hitting her on the head then yeah um the murder and the assault was planned from the beginning he knew what he was doing and he meant to do it so he appeared in adult court and was charged with first degree intentional homicide, first degree sexual assault, and first degree sexual assault of a child under 13. He is being held on a $1 million cash bond, which I'm just like, one, tried in adult court as he should because what he did is disgusting. Secondly, a $1 million cash bond and I don't know if it's because of his three counts or if it's because, you know, they they deem him a threat to society still or as Daily Mail states, Carson Peters Berger is the son of a convicted pedophile. Um, his dad's name is Adam Berger and he is now living in a halfway house after being released in April of 2021. Um, Adam Berger, Peter Berger, Carson Peters Berger's dad had inappropriate photos of prepubescent girls on his computer. And in some of these photos, it said that he had even put his face on some of the pictures with these little girls in it. And it's like... I know people say like you're a product of your environment, but it is not clear whether um, whether Carson was living with his dad at the time of him being arrested or not. It does say that he's been living with his mom and family and friends have said that 
Carson looks so unhappy being with his mom um, and that his life was shattered when he went to jail when his dad went to jail but because of probation his dad can only have supervised visitation with him his dad has also written to the courts to have unsupervised visitation because of how miserable he claims his son is with his mom but it has not said whether or not Carson and his dad have seen each other since his dad's release in 2021. So, um, as of the time that the incident happened, Carson was not living with his dad. He's living with his mom. Um, but I mean, I could also, you know, go into Lily's family because you know they don't have a perfect rap sheet either they said that lily's dad has conviction for drugs and alcohol including including duis um her mother jennifer Earley, um is on probation for theft from her own mother um and then her aunt Lori, uh or carson's carson's mom has also multiple drug offenses and was previously arrested for domestic battery. But don't get me wrong, like, I do not think that's an excuse for what he did at all. Um, it's truly disgusting what he has done to this little 10 year old girl that is his cousin. Um, and like I said, this case is ongoing. And those are the most up-to-date details that the case has. The next thing that is going to go on is um, a status conference for future hearings. It's going to happen on June 24th. So this is going to be able to let both parties enough time as well as victims and witnesses to appear in court that are required to be there. Um, I know this was very short very brief but i did want to do this case kind of early on so that way i can keep up with it on my channel and you know keep talking about it because because it's crazy honestly um it it seems pretty cut and dry to me who did it he confessed to doing it so also I did read in one of my sources that Carson had got scared after doing it and fleed, but then also returned and moved her body. I don't know how true that last part is about moving her body, but I mean, it would make sense if her, her body was not found when her bike was found. So I hope he gets sentenced as an adult and spends the rest of his life you know rotting away in jail but we shall see because I do not know the laws of Wisconsin so but yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this short little brief um case because that's all I have so far for it but that so far is Lily Peters who was sadly whose life was sadly taken by her 14 year old cousin, Carson Peters Berger. All right, y'all have a good long holiday weekend and we'll see what my next video is. Maybe another case, maybe a game, we'll see. All right, y'all.